Here we have a little Massey Ferguson front end loader tractor. On my laps at a deal you wouldn't believe. Got a few little issues, but nothing major. If missing a lever, I'm using a screwdriver to raise it up and down for now. I'm going to make a lever for it. I'll probably have a video on that. Problem we have with this little tractor is when you crank it up, it may run good for about 45 minutes or so, and then again, it may crank up and cut off. There's something with the fuel. That's what we're going to try to figure out is what's going on. If you look at this fuel filter right here, this container is not full to the top. I trace the lines down from the tank to here, got a fuel pump to push it to the engine. When you turn the key on, you can hear the fuel pump pumping and the, the level in this filter container is going down. I'm going to take some lines loose and see what's going on. This is the fuel tank and that's the fuel line. It's gravity fed. So the fuel comes out of the bottom of the tank and then runs down to this filter right here and then out of that filter is a fuel pump and that pushes up to the engine. Tracing that fuel line from the tank to the filter is this line right here. So if you stand in front of the filter, that line is to the left of the filter coming from the tank. Going to unhook the line from the fuel tank and see what's happening. Pull this down. Pull it. See if you was rolling out. That leads me to believe it must be a blockage in this line from here back to the filter. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take me a stick. Stick it up in here. Stop, stop this fuel from coming out so I don't lose all my fuel. If this is a diesel, well you working on a diesel or a gas, it's some of the same principles of what to check for. Since this clamp is a little hard to get to on this left side, what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to just take this line off of this right side. So when I blow through it, if there's any kind of debris, it will come down into this filter and not through the whole system. I'm going to take my blow gun and stick it through this fuel line up here on this top end coming from the fuel tank. Now I'm going to blow out through it and see what's going on. Since I blew out through it, now I'm going to see what's going on inside this filter. I'm going to screw this fuel filter off. A lot of nasty debris up in there. That's probably what's blocking that line and it wouldn't feed the fuel to the filter from the tank. So this is a new filter. I'm going to blow it out since I got a little dirty. I pulled that diesel out of there. So now look at this container now. We'll give it another spray or two with the eye. I'm going to spray around the inside of it. Pull this stick out right here and stick this hose back and see if we have any fuel coming out down there at our filter. It's flowing like it's supposed to. I believe that was our problem, that blockage. What I do when I'm putting a diesel filter back in. I fill the container up with diesel for for put it back in place. I do have this cutoff valve off for, for right now while I'm working on it. Cut that valve back on. You see fuel coming out of that other end of the filter up there. 
So that hose to come from the tip to go to the fuel pump, I'm going to hook that hose back up. My cockpit turn back on. Let the diesel flow through the system. When you're dealing with a diesel, sometimes you may have air in the line. That's the biggest thing with a diesel for it to run for it to run well. Just make sure there's no air in the line. That's why you don't want to let them run out of fuel. So if you have to bleed a diesel, you go to your lines. One way I learned, go to your to your line furthest away from your from your injection pump. Of course, this is small, everything is right together. With bigger machines, go to a line as far away from the Crack that line as far away from the injection pump. Like so. Just crack that line. And as you cranking up and turning it, you'll see bubbles come out. You see them bubbles and just play with it, you know. Don't open it all the way up and take and screw it all the way off. You don't want to do that. But just crack that line. Crack this line so you can hand screw it. When you see them bubbles, I've been fooling diesel so I can kind of tell the sound of it. But you get them bubbles out, you see uh, a clear stream of fuel, a diesel, and tighten, that, tighten that line back down. You may go to the injection pump. You might have a bleeder screw on it. You know, uh, you may have a bleeder screw on this little tractor. I can crack, open this uh, boat up right here. On other machines, you may have a, a hand pump. You can pump and get your air out of your line. But that's the biggest thing in making sure you get all the air out of your line for it to run correctly. If you have an electric fuel pump on your machine, such as this one, you might can crack your line and turn your key for your electric pump to kick in until you see some fuel start pumping through your system. Several different ways and tricks to get your air out. The most important thing is that air is out of your system for a diesel engine to run correctly. Gas is simple. You don't have to worry about that. Make sure all the fuel lines are tight. We're going to stick the key in it and crank it up and see what she'll do and see if we have to bleed the line. <laughs> Didn't take it long for it to crank up. So we cut it off, and then we're going to crank it back up and let it run and idle for a while and see how well it's going to do and take a little trip on it. We crank it up, turn it off, crank it back up. If you do have to bleed some air and lie, I'm going to try to show you. It was not too much noise. You hear the change, the sound of the change in the engine. You can see uh, bubbles of air coming out. But as you start to tighten it down, you can hear the engine sound of that's one way to bleed air out of a machine. I ran this little machine, this little tractor, for a little over an hour. You can see 
down there at the fuel filter. That container is still full. I ran this tractor about a medium idle. I dug dirt with it, picked up wood, mowed a little grass with it. Then I drove it around. I probably went about a good, at least a quarter to a half a mile on it in an hour's time. So I believe that's exactly what the problem was, was that fuel line stopped up. The previous owner had stopped using this tractor about five years ago because it wasn't something was wrong with, and I believe that's what the problem was. There you have it.